All right, welcome back to the Chartreuse Leprechaun for another episode of this War of Mine. We are in day 13, and as you recall, Kaki was out scavenging, and she cleaned out whatever pile of stuff we had floating around and brought it home. So now it's time to see what we can make, build, how we can get people working together, and, yeah, hopefully improve from there. Uh, let's see, we have a bed. Let's send her to bed. Who's in bed? Oh, very hungry and slightly sick. We need to send him for some food. He apparently did not get a meal yesterday, and everybody else did. Well, that's not so good. Didn't exactly plan that out correctly. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we got Kachi in bed. We got Roman... Well, let's see if he can make anything hit. No, 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 no. You get back in bed. I didn't pay any attention to what I actually had selected there for my laborer. What we really want is that. And for that, we need another five wood and another 14 thingies. We got everything else. Question is, uh, yes, we do have a purifier. Still would be fun. 39 Fahrenheit. It is starting to get cold, so it's time to start keeping some firewood around. So let's take care of that first. Actually, we'll just go ahead and use up all the wood for that. Uh, we'll use up some of it. We're going to need for cooking. We're going to need for heating. Uh, you know what? Actually, wait a minute. Let's stop that for a second. Let's send him down and double check the heater because we need to upgrade that. So that it runs more efficiently and we're still short. Okay, so we need a heater, we need 20 of those things, we need a thermometer, and we need one more gear, which we're out of. Okay, well, it is what it is. He's already made one, so we'll throw that in the fire, get that cooking. And you can see how quickly it heats up the house, which is uh, not necessarily realistic, but that's okay. And Go ahead and make some more firewood. And it's 10 o'clock. So humanitarian aid drops. Coffee is once again available. It remains an expensive commodity, but price is no longer on extortion levels. Well, that's always good. It means the black market has calmed down because real supplies have shown up. So, and he is still slightly sick, so we'll send him back to bed. How are we doing on water? Nine. We could use some more water. So we'll have uh, Roman make a filter. Throw another log or two on the fire here in a minute. Make a filter. This is the tedious part of the game, is the decisions and having them implemented. But it's actually, if you think about it, it's not much worse than, say, Fallout, where you got to walk from location to location, even if you fast travel, it takes a little bit. And then you got to do whatever is going on there. Uh, same with uh, pretty much any game. There are places in there, except maybe the MMOs, which we're not there yet. Hopefully we get there, uh, just not there yet. And we'll go throw another log on the fire. And then we're going to call it a day, because it's 12.30. It'll be about 1 o'clock when he's done with that. Well, okay, maybe not. 12.45, maybe. 2. And yeah, we'll go ahead and do one more. And then we'll end the day, because there isn't much else we can make with what we have. So, we cleaned out the gas station completely. We still have this, although most of those supplies listed are going to be over in the, in the building that the, that the army's occupied, which I assume is like the control tower or, or operations building for the airport, something of that nature. So hard to say for sure. Uh, on the other hand, we had, we'll clean that out. 
we can Katya's going to go, you're going to sleep, you're going to guard. And let's go see if we can get anything from the priest. Let's see what we have to trade. We'll take, uh, take that, we'll take that, we'll take those, we'll take those. It's trade goods. Uh, anything's tradable, but you do want to kind of pay attention to what you have. Oh, we've got one or two of these. We may be able to use one of those, although that's kind of precious. So be very judicious when you're doing that. Um, hmm. I'd like to take more, but I guess we're going to have to hope for some stuff there. Trying to remember what else I need in tools. Do I need is it one or two picks and did I need the shovel? Dang it. I don't remember. I think I do. So we'll leave Roman with the crowbar as a weapon. And there's also the automatic rifle and machine gun. I'm still not sure what it is and how they classify it. I know what they call it, but I don't know how it actually works in terms of game mechanics. So um yeah. We'll call that a run, and let's go see what the uh, what our friend the priest has that he can trade, and what he's got lying around that we can lay hold of. All right, so as a child, I would come here with my parents. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to be said for a, a moral grounding in children, or even people in general. Uh, there's a lot to be said for it. As, uh, as I said a couple of Wednesday videos ago, I am a Christian. I do believe. And uh, so I think that's important. Not everybody does. And that is your choice. All right. So we'll empty that and we'll come down here and we see the priest and see what he may have to trade. Hello. We've been robbed recently, so we don't have much. And. Yeah, a lot of people sleeping downstairs, so don't wake them up. It is possible to break in there and possibly steal some things, although I don't. Uh, not because it's a church, just because it's a, it's a problem. Uh, he's got stuff. three pieces of wood for that. I think we're going to call that good and see what else is in the building. So we'll go back to our storage location here real quick. Drop that off. Wood is, by the way, the harder thing to come by usually. So, or at least that's my recollection. As I said, it's been a while since I've played this game. So uh, wood being the harder thing to come by, that's what I, I will trade for most often. So, we see a ladder here, so that means we can go downstairs. And we know we don't really want to go in there. Now, anytime you see a hand, that is something you can investigate. Anytime you see something like uh, fingers reaching into something, that's private. And if you break into that, it is stealing. So... You, uh, you generally don't see a lot of that. Mark on the wall and a few words. Here lies Roxy, best dog in the world. Uh, yeah. What can you say? Somebody lost their dog and that is always a sad thing. So. We'll just start checking out locations and see. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. Yeah, I did need a shovel. Good to know. One of the things I remember about this game is if you're going someplace where there's a an area that's you know collapsed, damaged, whatever, you're going to need a shovel. Uh, I guess I should say you know rocket science is not required type thing, but you know. There. OK. 
And yep, there's the saw grate or a saw grate. Good deal. Cut through that. And that apparently is some guy just wandering around. I ran past him because I thought, uh, you know, he might be. Well, if he comes after me, there's actually an exit on that end of the building, so there's a way out if you need it. Nothing there. Oh, man. Ooh, more jewelry. Okay. We need it. We can trade for more. Uh, okay, that's good stuff. And that's good stuff. Okay. Well, hadn't been too bad. Hmm. As it's of uh, being back in St. Louis, I'm more or less at a stand-up desk that isn't a desk. It's more of a bookcase armoire type thing, and there's no real place to rest my arm. So this may actually be a short video. I don't know yet. We'll, uh, we'll find out. And... Looks like I didn't need that pick after all. I thought I I thought this location required one. That may depend on the scenario. There's two different scenarios with the church. One has bandits in there. Nobody's heard from the priest in a while. They don't know what his situation is. And then the other one is this one where he'll trade and you can find stuff and so forth. So uh, there's a fair bit of variation in this game. That it's a challenge. It's always interesting. So. 230. This may actually be the last thing I do is dig through this. And there's that guy. He's also kind of rummaging through. Uh, one of the things I've. Oh, no, don't do that. Click the wrong button. Sorry. He, uh, one of the things I found out is if they get to. Oh, he's carrying a gun. I've never noticed that before. Well, that's fun. Don't mind me. I'm just wandering around carrying a gun. Okay. That always, that's always fun. There's a couple of places down there. We'll dig one or two of them out. We're not going to get any stuff. We'll just go upstairs and make our exit back out the front so we can dig through that pile at the front end and get more of the wood and materials that we need to... Uh... Oh, yes. She's actually going to come. The person you just saw right here is actually going to come in and... Uh go through the building and if she sees you she freaks out and runs away so but she's going to climb up top and we are going to make our exit there we go oh cutting this one thin god i hope i'm not doing something stupid again by uh did i have i didn't have any room left other than those two slots he's not trading Oh, goodness. Do I or don't I? I don't think I will yet. We'll, uh, we'll hold on to that. And because we're not going to have a chance to make it back to him. It's already 410, as it says up here, 420. So we'll have just enough time to get in here, prioritize our load, and figure out how we're, what we're going to do to go back. So we'll put a load of gears down. We'll put... Um, We'll put that down. We'll put that down. Uh, we'll put that down. Actually, we'll put that down. And that's not going to be enough lumber. And I don't know if we're going to get a guy to trade with. But I'm taking the jewelry with me, obviously. Not going to leave that behind. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. All right, so we're going to take the oops, we're going to take the medicine with us, and we had enough of that. We actually had enough of those. Three, four, twelve. We used three. We needed fourteen, which is seventeen. Because we use three, 14 and 17. Oh man, we don't have enough room. Crap. All right, so we'll leave those. 
and we'll take those. And hopefully that's enough. What I'm wanting to do is build the, uh, the reinforced door and with the simple alarm and I forget whatever else it's, I think it's just a reinforced door with a, a simple alarm on it. Uh, makes it a lot easier for your survivors to survive without getting raided. Although the raiding is going to become a lot less common because the curve on crime has already gone into place. Oh, speaking of which, we got raided. So Anton's not well. We used three ammunition to chase them off. So they tried to rob us. They really meant business, but we managed to send them off. Everyone was armed. None of us were wounded, and they didn't steal anything. So this is good news, and Katya came back with all this. And Anton is not doing so well. So here's what we're going to do for Anton. We're going to take him up there and give him one of the over-the-counter meds. We're going to send Katya back to bed. And we're going to send Roman to reinforce the door. And after he has finished that, we're going to send him downstairs to add some fire to the fireplace. What is going on with Roman? Very hungry, very tired. What? You go back there. Why is he very tired? Because he didn't sleep yesterday. Oh, I had him work all day. Duh. All right, Roman, you go to bed. You stay awake and reinforce the door. Okay. I Decisions, decisions, decisions. Fantastic. Great fun. What? Oh, I'm short one wood. Dang it. Okay, well, hmm. That's not so good. What else we got? 33. We could make another filter for more water. Yes. Or we could... What else can we make without getting us into trouble here? Uh, five and five. One short, so we need six. Is three wood. We can go back and we can trade for that with the uh, with our favorite priest, Olek. So... All the, everything we need to finish that is right there. Okay. So we need that. And what did we need for this? We need... Well, we had everything we needed in gears. and I guess we didn't. All right, so we need some gears. We need 20 more of that. So, last three is 17, four per slot. So we need five slots of this, two, maybe three slots of wood, just to build these two items, and a couple of gears. And we're good for our construction plans. Okay. Well, that's helpful. All right. So you head on up there. Go sit down. And we'll wait and see if anybody's going to show up, because uh, I'm not sure who these guys are. They do not look like good guys. What is the deal here? Oh, militia. Yippee. Let's talk. You won't regret it. Okay. Citizens, several days ago, someone from the neighborhood stole supplies from a humanitarian aid container. You remember, I think Roman went out with him and gathered and got some coffee and a couple of other things. Uh, the supplies are vital to us. There's a reward for help in seizing the culprit. One of your neighbors was reportedly sniffing around. We have reason to believe he took everything. Can you confirm our suspicions? Okay, here's the deal. Uh, your choice, if you turn in your neighbor, you get lots of cigarettes, you get lots of coffee, and you get three canned meals. However, your morale goes in the toilet because you turned in your neighbor. So you have a choice. Do you want the supplies, or do you care about your how good you feel about yourself? Uh, not easy choices. And these are genuinely choices faced in any war zone, any time one of the combatant parties comes around saying, hey, help us. That's the choice you face. Uh, 
the French, the Belgians, the Poles, uh, anybody who collaborated with the Germans in World War II, they went through that. And some of them did it without a second thought because they had no moral compass. Some of them did it because it put food on the table for their children. And some of them did it for reasons we may never know. But when it was over, uh, if you watched Band of Brothers when the 82nd Airborne went into Eidenhoven, they were grabbing collaborators and either shooting them or disgracing them in public. Uh, yeah, there were there were choices and there were prices to pay, and they put a very realistic one here. So uh, I'm not into turning in my neighbors. Okay, yes, I got a little bit of good stuff out of it, but I'm not here to to have my neighbor's throat slit or anything of that nature. So we're going to say, can you confirm our suspicions? No. Are you sure it wasn't him? Can you confirm our suspicions? No, I cannot. As you wish. I'll go talk to somebody else. I'm not going to be the guy that turns him in. Okay? Very simple. I'm just, that's not me. Okay? Uh, you've got your own choices. And I've played that out once because I clicked the button. One of the early times, I clicked that button in such a way that I said, yes, I've confirmed your suspicions. And they gave me the food. And it took days to get my people out of the out of the sad mode that they were in. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> it's not easy. All right, so she's done sleeping. He's going to get better, and he's just totally fried. She needs to eat, on the other hand. So we will send her up to cook some food. See how much she can cook, because Anton ought to be coming up on very hungry here in a minute, because I screwed up two yeah i can only make two all right i screwed up when i the way i was feeding everybody i try to make it a point to feed everybody the same day that way everybody goes hungry very hungry whatever at the same time makes it a lot easier to feed and keep track of what's going on at the moment i've got katya and roman going very hungry on one day and i've got Anton going very hungry on a different day, and it it just makes it tough to tough to schedule. But it's more a nuisance than anything else. All right, we're done for the day, so we're going to say that's it. And oh, we got a whole bunch more locations: a construction site, a hotel, a warehouse, and Old Town. Old Town is the center of town. It's like Town Square, and there are. Um, it's, it's a dangerous place because at one end is the, uh, I keep lose track of who's who. I can't remember if it's the militia or the army that have the build, that hold the building that has all the good stuff in it. So your choice, uh, you can try and sneak in there and grab their stuff and get out alive, or you can ignore it. Uh, the warehouse is more or less looters have taken over. Uh, the warehouse bad guys and uh, you have the choice to go in there and kill them and take all their stuff or sneak in and steal whatever you can uh, your choice as i recall there's nothing as i recall oh wait uh, when you go in there are some things that are considered stealing the interesting thing is after you kill everybody they're not stealing go figure that one out uh, the construction site uh, abandoned military snipers are at the top, so it is possible to get shot and die, so you need to be careful. And then the hotel, this comes with a couple of different scenarios. Uh, yeah, this one is pretty simple. There's a guy who's more or less gone crazy. He's gone around, around the bend, used to be the old saying, and he uh, he's just wandering around in there. So... He's pretty harmless. Caution is advised. There may be others, but there's generally not. I've seen it happen once or twice. So these are actually pretty good locations to choose from. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. The church or the hotel? Church or the hotel? Because basically I don't want to get in a fight right now because I don't have, don't really have weapons for it. Um, I also need, if I remember right, I need saws and a couple of picks at the construction site. 
I don't remember if I need any saucer picks at the hotel. I need a saw and a couple of picks, or a couple of saws and a pick, whichever way that goes, at the warehouse. And I don't have any of them. So, and I don't want to go to Old Town because just wandering through town itself, there really isn't anything there. You have to, if you want anything, you've got to go in the building at the end of town with all the soldiers in it. Is what it is. So, but I need wood and construction materials, gears, all that fun stuff. So yeah, we'll go there. And we'll send Katya. And we'll leave Roman on guard. And we'll put you back to bed. That'll work. And don't have any tools that I can take that will help me. So we'll just go. And let it load here. All right. So let's see. We'll use that, I think. Well, let's check it first. I think I want to use that for a collection point. Yeah, we'll use that for a collection point. That's nice. And we'll go down here. There is actually a level underneath this room, but you can't get to it on your first run through. You can only get there on the second run through and later. A uh, little unusual, kind of strange, because this kind of like goes away and then there's a ladder. Uh, yeah, go figure. So, you can hear the snipers taking their rounds up there. Hopefully I have the sound on this fixed. I unfortunately had the uh, game audio down insanely low on the last playthrough, and I do apologize. Uh, that certainly wasn't what I wanted to do, because um, games without, like, game sounds are, like, boring. And I certainly don't want things to be boring. I want them to be fun and uh, have something that's worth watching. As, uh, you know, as we've discussed before, it's... Uh, And there we go. Fill that up. It's a work in progress. So we'll see. Um, but as much as I can help it, we are uh, we're going to have some fun around here. Because that's what the chartreuse leprechaun is all about. He may be obnoxious and he may be cantankerous and he may be unpredictable as all get out, but he's never boring. Uh, so. Let's uh, let's go back up there. Okay, so we'll. Okay. That was a note about getting away in a boat. So there is an exit strategy from here that doesn't necessarily involve waiting for the humanitarian aid people to come take over and get all the people out. Uh, that was the original single scenario solution. You just had to tough it out until the siege was lifted. So we may uh, we may look at those uh, those alternatives here in a bit. Right now, that that particular avenue has not opened up for us yet. Although we are, I think that's the second note we've seen that talks about it. Uh, so the problem we have is the higher up we get, the more possible it is to actually run into these guys and get shot or stabbed or whatever, and we have no weapons with us. So from here, we need to just be careful. Now we walk carefully. Yep, there's the two guys. He just shot somebody. And I don't have a shovel to dig through that, and it wouldn't do me any good anyway because there's no way across there. So let's see if we can make it up here. Oh, 
they are going to the other side of the building, and we do not want to be there. So, I think we are going to call this an expedition and hit the road. All right, get back to our collection point here. And, all right, so we need, ooh, I didn't get any gears. Darn it. That's not helpful. Um, hmm. Two, four, five is 20. I needed 17, so we're good there. That'll actually get us one more water filter as well. Two, four, six is 12. I think that's all I needed of that, and that's all I have for the moment. Um, <laughs> we'll go materials. All right, and we'll run for the exit. And there's a whole pile of more stuff over in the far end of this far side of this building if you can get there. It is kind of a trick to get there and avoid the soldiers, but if you can do it, it's uh, it's worth it. I probably could have on that run through. The problem is the time it takes to get back from that other side of the building is horrendous. And I'm sure I could actually do that. So now Roman's not feeling well. That's awesome. And Roman is, he's only hungry. So we'll send him to bed. And very hungry, yeah, go eat. Slightly sick, okay. And we'll put Koch in bed. Oh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Now what that means is this water uh, filter thing won't work because it's freezing or below. What that means is you have to go out and gather snow and then melt it on the stove, which means you need more firewood. Yeah. So, well, we have two good reasons to go to the basement, or at least I think the basement. Do we still have firewood? Yes, we do. Okay. So well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down here, and we're going to collect that meat. This is the trap that we built a while back, so we, uh, there we go. We have more. We do. We got one more. Good deal. And we want to come over here. We want to upgrade this. Oh, crap. I still don't have that gear. Darn it. All right. I forgot. So. There's my reinforced door. That is outstanding. Well, there's still holes in the walls, barely boarded up, and now we have a reinforced door, and it's like nobody's going to break in for all intents and purposes, which is, you know, fine. I don't mind that in the least. Oh, there's our trader guy. i got to wake up Katya, because, strange as it sounds, the skills that your people have matter. Uh, for instance, there's a guy in this game, his name is Marco, and he is a skilled scavenger. So, if you, uh, he will find more, what? He will find more stuff than anybody else. So, we want the gears. And we'll take, uh, we'll take some ammo, what the heck? That's going to be expensive, but we have all this jewelry that we can use, so... We should be good. We'll take some, maybe, oops, I want those. Where'd they go? There they are. And let's see what that costs us. Well, he's proud of that stuff. Uh, 
there we go there's a deal uh, it's not a good deal because we need cigarettes but that will get us some of what we need so we'll take that deal and then we will what else can we do here going to need wood because now we have to make firewood to melt the snow. You'll notice we only have three water. So we're going to need the parts to make the filter. We're going to need the firewood to make the water. Yeah, the, uh, the need for wood just exponentially grew. So, more, huh? And sometimes those teddy bears will be good stuff to trade with. It actually was. Cool. Uh, can I get one more piece of wood? Nope. Uh, can I get a... Nope. Uh, nope. Alright, so we have actually done all we can there. Alright, so you go home. And we're going to send you down there to fire up the heater. And we're going to let you get a couple of these. Every snowflake, the symbol that they use for this, is for water. So we're going to have her get three of them while he upgrades the stove. And then we're going to send Katya to bed. And we're going to let uh, Anton do a fair bit of stuff here. Outstanding. There you go. We'll click back over to Anton. He's going to finish upgrading the stove. And like so. Very good. And then he's going to take our remaining two pieces of firewood and throw them in there. Yeah. They'll give you a red bubble, uh, a red circle flash thingy that uh, that says you're low on, you don't have any more firewood. And that is our clue to go run up here and make some firewood. Because we need to melt some water so we can cook some food. Uh, tomorrow, everybody eats. So. Uh, six. Eight. And you'll notice those two sticks of firewood in the stove are heating this place up. It's obviously very cold out. And it brought the temperature up almost immediately. It will hold it up higher or longer because you upgraded it with whatever it was it the, the thermostat control and, and whatever else it thinks that you added to that. So it's a good thing. And what? Oh, you're rested? Cool. All right. Well, let's go throw another log on the fire. you do that and we need you to go over there because we still need a saw blade oh good we can make two of each cool deal because I don't remember what we need I know there's at least one of each in those other two locations so, what do you mean? Oh, I have to have filters for that? Ah, oh, I clean forgot. Okay. Well, maybe we won't have all our picks and whatnots. Um, hmm. I guess we'll make... Yeah, we'll go ahead and make three of them. I was not expecting that. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. I need to wait till he makes those two picks. Six. I'm only going to be able to make one of them. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm glad I hit the wrong button because I think I said exit instead of make. So we'll make one. And 
I guess we won't make three meals. We'll only make two. We're at 42 minutes on the game, so we're doing good. We'll be able to get back out there for one more night, and then we'll call it for today's broadcast. There we go. We'll send you up there to melt water. And that takes care of all of that. Make four water, which gets us seven, which is still only going to be two meals. Oh, dang it. Hmm. All right, Anton, go throw one more log on the fire, like a good man. And Katya, only one. Oh, I thought it'd be sure to make you two. Well, that's not good. Hmm. All right. But we will uh, end the day since we've only got an hour left and there's nothing left we can do. Can't get to the construction site because it's snowed. Well, that's nice. Um, hotel. Oh, I can't remember if I need a saw blade or not. I know I need picks. At least I think I do. Oh, darn it. And there's a shovel for one or two spots, I think. Oh, the port. There it is. Can't get there because it snowed, but it is possible to get over there and possibly meet a smuggler who, uh, who can help us. So, um, hmm. Darn it. Oh, decision. Ruined villa. What is the ruined villa? Uh, old villa in a rich neighborhood. Deserters from the army have chosen to live there. Yeah, we probably want to avoid that for right now. Although, like it says, it probably has lots of supplies and military rations, canned food. It would be quite the haul if we could get in there and get out. But the likelihood of having to kill somebody to do it yeah. Uh, it used to be beautiful. I also have stuff provided we have something to trade. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll think about that one. Oh, and the hospital. That's, uh, that's a great one for morale if you can do it. Take a, a medicine or a bandage to the hospital and give it to them. Makes everybody feel real good. They usually have a lot of uh, just stuff. So, but we can't get there because, well, it snowed. Um, hmm. I guess we'll try the hotel. Scavenge. Guard. And. Don't remember if it's a saw blade or a pick. We'll do that. And we'll see what happens. I'll go scavenge through this, and when we get back to the house in the morning, we'll call that a day and a show. So, all right. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Yeah, shovel. There we go. We'll dig through stuff first, and then we'll see what we can scavenge, because that will get us at least up to here. That's a lot of locations with stuff in it, so, I don't know. Oh, this thing. Uh, when you see this icon, it's a place you can hide if somebody's chasing you, you know, trying to kill you, uh, rob you, whatever. Uh, they're, they're very handy if you're trying to avoid soldiers. At like or bandits say at the warehouse or the army base or wherever uh, you can use that as a as a hidey hole and they quote unquote can't see you there's one pick okay that is apparently a mouse and that is the guy that is 
more or less nuts. Gone round the bend and such. And now when you were back here, you see this icon that if I take that, that is stealing. So when the darkness rises in the east, I shall take up my sword. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's a bit off. Uh, there's more stuff for stealing. There's uh, there's the refrigerator. So if you were so inclined, you could steal his food or whatever he's got in there. Uh, the guy being slightly around the bend, there's no telling what he might have in there. Right, let's go up the stairs and see what's there. Ah, uh, darn it, there's another thing to pick. That means that I probably did not need the saw blade. Oh well. Uh, I think we will call this our exploration zone. We'll come on down, and we'll come on down, and we'll use this for our collection point. There's actually a couple of different scenarios with this building as well. One of them involves bandits, one of them involves someone who's there to trade, and one of them obviously involves the, uh, the guy who's gone crazy because of the war, uh, which is hands down a very sad thing. Um, war is not, it is not pleasant. It is not glorious. It is not, I've said this before, uh, there's, there may be a good reason to go to war. There may be a good reason to fight a battle like that, but there's no glory in it. Other than, you know, if you happen to succeed and vanquish some evil like, you know, Hitler during World War II, then maybe Maybe it was worth it. Uh, I don't know. But what I do know is war just destroys. That's all it's good for. Um, there is no, there is no glory. There is no joy. There is nothing to be happy or proud about in war. Uh, and this game actually does a decent job of making that clear. There's there's no winners, there's no losers, there's no good side, there's no bad side. All you see is the destruction and the damage and the hurt, which is what war does. Uh, that is the nature of war. It is destructive. It is deadly. It's designed. It's, I don't want to say designed that way because I can't necessarily say war is designed. The way people fight a war is there are designs and strategies and all kinds of things, but uh, yeah, war is a destruction. And it may have a good goal, like the vanquishing of evil, uh, but the destruction it leaves in its wake is nothing to be proud of. Uh, Take that back with us because we don't need it here. And we'll take those. And we'll actually take those. We're going to need them. And we'll take those because we're going to need them as well. Any more upgrades or, or devices that we build are going to require transistors to, to build or to upgrade or what have you. So we need to keep a supply of those on hand and we'll come back to the house call that an evening and i probably could have there was probably enough time in there to go look for some stuff but i just decided not to uh, there was an hour plus i think left so we probably could have gone and grabbed some more stuff so and it was a quiet night. Nobody raided. Everybody got to sleep. Yay. And on that note, we are going to call this a show.
So again, my name is Mark. This is the Chartreuse Leprechaun channel. Thank you for your time. It, it is greatly appreciated. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it insightful. I hope you find the game interesting. And with that, I will leave you. And you have a great week and a great night.